So next you are going to do, your high texture layer is still selected. So just come to your blending mode and change it to linear light. So once you change it to linear light, you can see the image is looking the way it was before. So if I just, hello everyone, my name is Tule Victor and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a non-destructible focus separation action similar to the one we have on the retouching academy so if you don't have this retouching academy you can use this request separation action I'm, I'm about to show you to retouch your image so let's get started so the first thing you're going to do you come to your actions right here and if you're not seeing your action right here just come to windows and click on action and your action is going to show like this so after that just click on this um, option icon right here so click on it and just check your button mode so if your button mode is checked make sure you click it to uncheck it so once you uncheck it you are going to have these options right here and first you are going to do you are going to create a folder or a set for your action so just create on this folder icon right here and just rename it um i think for the sake of this story, i'm just going to rename it frequency separation tutorial and click on ok and make sure you rename it to something you can remember i prefer you rename it to frequency separation action so you can know the function of it so after that just click on this plus icon right here so once you click on it you are going to see action name so just rename this action frequency separation so after you rename it you can choose a shortcut key or i'm just going to leave this one and you can shoot you can choose any color you want so you can indicate it so i'm just going to be using this um green um color right here so i can know it so after that just click on record so once you start recording the first thing you are going to do you are going to create a new empty layer by coming down here and clicking on empty layer so once you create a new empty layer just click on ctrl shift alternate e to create a stamp visible layer so you can see this empty layer has been filled with our background so after that just click on ctrl j to duplicate this new layer you created so you can see right now we have two layers right here so i'm going to be using one for my texture layer and using the other one for my color layer so for this um for this one below right here i'm just going to rename it color or low frequency so just rename it so you can know what you are doing and it's very important to rename your layer so you can know the difference between your color and your high texture why this upper one i'm just going to rename it high texture which is high or texture layer so the next thing i'm going to do i'll come to this my color or low frequency layer and once I, once it's selected i'll come to my filter i'll come to my blur and i'll come to my gaussian blur because i want to remove the textures from this image i want to make sure it's many all the colors so as you can see if i move my sliders up i'm i'm losing textures on the image and if i take it all the way down i'm seeing textures on the image but if i don't want textures i'll just um, move it upward so that it, it remain only the colors but you can also adjust these radius later depending on the kind of image you want to edit so you can always come back here and adjust this um, radius right here this Gaussian blur radius so just click on ok and once you click on ok we successfully remove the textures from this layer right here and it's very important to note that you should click on this um, box right here so once you've done your Gaussian blur radius and you click on ok make sure you check on this box right here so that you will be able to change the radius later if you want to retouch another image if you did not check this box right here you are going to be using the particular radius you set right now for the whole of your image if you want to use this action so make sure this place is checked it's very important so check it and continue with what you are doing so if i turn off this first one right here you can see the image is blurry because the textures are no longer there so if i turn it back on you can see the textures are back so next thing i'm going to do i'll come to my high texture and i want to i want to remove the colors from this high texture so to do that once my high texture layer is selected i'll come to my image and i'll come to my apply image I'm going to show me this option right here so for your layer make sure your color tune or low frequency is selected not your background and not your high texture make sure your low frequency or color tune is selected and make sure your channel is on rgb and uh, make sure your evert is not checked and for your blending mode just change it to subtract because we are subtracting the colors out of this image so just click on subtract and make sure your opacity is on 100 and make sure your scale is on 2 
and make sure your offset is on 128 it's very important make sure it's on 128 because this 128 is uh 50% gray because we're going to be changing the blend mode to linear light so make sure your offset is on 128 so once that is checked just click on ok so next thing you are going to do your high texture layer is still selected so just come to your blending mode and change it to linear light so once you change it to linear light you can see the image is looking the way it was before so if i just turn off these um two layers which i created you can see the image before and if i turn it back on the two layer you can see the image is looking the same like nothing changed but then if i turn off my color or low frequency you can see it's mainly just the textures on the image so you can see how the texture is on the image right now but if i turn it back on you can see the image is balanced but if i turn off my high texture you can see the image is blurry if i turn on my high texture you can see the image is looking balanced so the next step i'm going to do right now i'm going to create the non destructive option where you can use your mixer brush and you can also erase it so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to create um a new empty layer which we are going to be working on so that this image will be non destructive so to do that i'll just come to my layer again and create a new empty layer and make sure this empty layer is in the middle of your high texture and your low your low frequency texture or your color tones and you can rename this layer right here correcting tune correcting tune because this is the layer we're going to be using the mixer brush to mix the colors on the image and also next i'm going to do account my high texture and i'm just going to duplicate this layer by clicking on ctrl j to duplicate it and after that i'm just going to hold alternate and clip it to this high texture right here so once i hold alternate you are going to see this clippy option right here so just click on it you are going to be clicking this high texture copy to this high texture right here and next thing you are going to do you can see the image is not looking good at all so just come to use your high texture copy and change the blend mode to normal and you can see your image is back to normal so just follow this step carefully and you are going to get the result you want and if you miss any step just um take this video back and just watch it again and get the step so the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to put everything i just did in a group click on this first one right here and hold shift and click on this last one right here to select all of them or if you want to select it one after the other you can just hold control and click them one after the other to make a selection so once all of them are selected just click on ctrl g to group them so once you group them you can rename this your group frequency separation if i turn this uh, focus separation off you can see the image is looking the same if i turn it on you can see the image is still looking the same this is what i have inside my focus separation you can see my high texture right here you can see my high texture copy you can see my corrective tune and you can see my low frequency color tool right here so if i just turn off this my high texture copy you can see the image is looking blurry and if i turn it back on you can see the image is looking normal and if i turn off my color tune you can see the image is looking sharp if i turn my color tune off you can see the image is looking normal so that's how you create your actions. so after creating my actions and i'm done with my action i'm just going to click on this stop icon right here so once i click on stop my action has been successfully created and i'll just come to this my option right here again and click on button mode so once i click on button mode and i scroll all the way down you can see this is the focus separation we just created right now this this last one right here so if i just delete this um focus separation which i did so right now i'm just going to run the action we just created so this is the action we just created i'm just going to click on it it's going to run the action we just created and it's going to show me to put via um gaussian blur radius i'm going to be using frequency radius of battery for this image and click on ok and this is the frequency separation action we just created you can see right here instead of starting from the scratch you can just run it and create your own frequency separation like this so after running the frequency separation if you want to use a mixer brush just pick your mixer brush too make sure your um high texture layer is turned off so once you turn off it's going to be blurry like this so you just make sure your creative tune is selected just pick your mixer brush and just brush on the um, model skin to make it smooth like that to even out the colors on the skin to make it look even so i'm just going to click on this one and show you the before and after so if i turn on my texture you can see we have texture back on the skin the before this is what we did before just a subtle difference this is the before and this is the after oh let me just do a rough work so you can see it okay yeah 
so this is the before and this is the after so you get the point and if you make a mistake you can just pick your eraser tool and just re- remove the um, mistake instead of deleting the focus separation and starting all over again you can just erase that particular place which you make a mistake so this is similar to the retouching academy focus separation um, action so if i just create a stamp visible layer and i click on my retouching academy and click on retouching via uh, focus separation via gaussian blur you are going to see it's going to show you to put a radius so i'm just going to put a radius of about three and click on ok and just going to run the same action for me so these are high frequency texture these are high frequency these are corrective tune and these are low frequency texture so guys i hope you learned something for this video if you do make sure to give this video a like so that more people can see this video and learn from this video as well i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative